Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flaff, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm on here um, one minute early. <laughs> I decided to make up for last week and get on a little bit early, and I'll just gab for a little bit while, while everybody's getting on. Um, it's my first Monday. It's my first Monday live, I believe. I've been doing them on Wednesdays for a year and a half or so. And uh, every Wednesday, I think I might have had to skip one time or, or switch it a day to a Thursday maybe one time. Um, but today is Monday and I just decided that um, with our whole social distancing thing, I wanted to make sure that you say hi when you get on. I can see that a couple of people are on, but I don't see your comments yet. I hope that's not a new thing that's going on. Sorry, if you see my finger at all, I'm trying to touch the screen to see comments. But it might just be um, that nobody said hi yet. Um, so anyway, I, I decided that I wanted to do this um, more often for during this social distancing thing. Uh, I heard I heard somebody or read on Facebook somebody using a different uh, name for it that it's not social distancing it's just physical distancing um, I'm just putting myself down a little bit better so I'm in here better oh there's Sherry hi Sherry um, let me know when you get on um, say hi I would love to know who's here that makes me happy um, so anyway, I decided that I was coming on today. I, I, I'm not promising for sure extras except for today, but I kind of have in mind maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We will see. Um, but all I promised extra was today. <laughs> um, and then of course my normal Wednesdays. Good morning, Kathy. I'm glad you're here. Um, so how is everybody doing with all this that's going on? It's just kind of a strange situation. Um, and it's good to be together um, to share things. Speaking of which, I'll tell you this about this later too, but I have a, um, a Zoom virtual crafting night tomorrow night. Um, you, I think you are supposed to have, download the zoom app first I think it works better that way maybe you don't have to because I thought I saw that you could just do it differently but I would suggest downloading it hi Marilyn um, are you guys commenting because I can't see any comments can one of you that I said hi to can you please comment because I can't see anything yet um, oops sorry I'm bouncing the thing I have a feeling that might just be what, where, where, how today is going. I might go down my laptop. I don't like to do this usually because I feel like I can be more, be more invested in you guys when I'm not trying to watch myself on. Oh, and then I don't know how to mute it on my laptop. Um, but I'm gonna look it up and see if maybe you're, you are commenting and I just can't see it. Um. I can see that there's four of you on right now, at least as far as what it looks like to me. Okay, I see a heart. I got that. I don't see comments, though. Oh, Nikki's on. Hi, Nikki. I just asked people to comment when they get on because I'm not seeing any comments yet. And Oh, good. Yay, Nikki said good morning. Okay, so I can see comments, so I'm closing my laptop. All right. I'm so happy you're here. That's so much fun. Um, uh, so I I saw your um, your post yesterday about the otters, and then saw Mike's comment about that he likes meerkats, and I'm actually using the meerkat stamp set that was a freebie from during celebration, um, which celebration is still going on um, uh, through tomorrow. Um, and so you can get this stamp set free. I'll, I'll show it to you right now so you can see it. Um, so here is the stamp set, Gangs All Mirror. I think I changed my 
oh no, that was just because of the stamp set in front of it, I guess. Um, Gangs on Mirror. So it says from all of us. Um, can't read it in the screen. We're here for you. Happy birthday to a stand up friend. And then, um, and then extras here. I'm not at work, so I can really watch you and pay attention. <laughs> it is a cute set. So it's a freebie that you get when you spend $50. Um, and so I'm going to use it today. I know, Marilyn, it's, it's, um, unscheduled, but I mentioned it in my last live that I was planning to go live, um, do more of them. And then I scheduled it and posted that I was going to be here. And so, um, I was just saying, I don't know if you were on yet or not, but I was just saying that, um, I'm hoping to do more, um, during this social distancing thing, but I'm not making promises yet. You'll just have to watch, watch my posts to plan. So I'll tell, I think my plan is going to be that I'll tell you, um, I have in mind possibly Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, but I'll tell you like on Wednesday if I'm going to do it Friday. So that's, that's kind of my, my plan, but I'm not making promises yet. I will tell you other than my normal Wednesdays, I'll tell you, um, the live before, um, whether or not it's happening the, the next time that I have in mind. Um, Okay, so Zoom Virtual Crafting Night is tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Um, I'm really excited for it. I have, um, well, first of all, I did one last Thursday. Um, we had a total of seven people on, eight people at one time, I think, um, on. And if you've not ever done a Zoom meeting, um, if you have a larger device than just your phone, you can see up to 49 people on your screen if you change the setting for that. So if you haven't done it before and you're using your laptop or your iPad, make sure that you change that setting to allow up to, to see up to 49 people. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're on your phone, you can only see, I think, four max at a time. Um, but anyway, that's tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Um, oh yeah, Sherry was there. We did have so much fun. Um, so I forgot to bring any water. I hope I make it through okay. I might have to I might have to scooch quick. Um anyway, so I invited most likely if you're on here, um well, I actually that's not true cuz I have no idea sometimes who all is watching or if people that I don't even know are watching. So, um if you are interested in coming to my Zoom um crafting night tomorrow night, um let me know and I will send you an invitation. Um, you can email me or message me or whatever and I will send it to you. Because I made it a private group so that, um, um, I don't know, I just I just felt the need to like keep the, the code secret. But I'll send it to you if you're interested, so just tell me. Um, but a lot of you, like if I know your names, um, then I sent you an invitation. So look for an invitation to my... Um, Zoom virtual crafting night, which is tomorrow night at 7. Um, I'm planning to um, post later today some like suggestions for how to settings that you should do before you get on or that kind of thing. Um, so I will be posting it in that group. So I think even if you um, haven't said that you're going yet, I think you can still see my suggestions of what you need to do um, just because I invited you to the group. So um, if you didn't get an invitation to that event, let me know and I will send you one. And if you wanna go, I would love to have you to come. We have, so I started saying, um, yay, I popped up. <laughs> I know today's an off day. And I see Linda is here and Robin is here. Thanks for joining me. And Diane, thank you. Um, yeah. I'm just going to try to be more here online um, since I can't meet with you in person. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. Um, so another thing that I have going on right now that is cool, and today is the deadline to sign up for this, is a secret stampers group. Um, actually, I'm doing two. One is with my... 
my team and other demonstrators that I know, I specifically just invited them to that because it has to be current product and we're our our calendar of what we're going to be doing may be a little bit different than what I have in mind for my customers. But um, if you're a demonstrator, um, uh, you're welcome to it and you can let me know if you're interested. Um, if you're a customer, um, make sure that you let me know that you want to join. I'm going to outdate myself, but when you said you thought proper room. <laughs> I remember Ramp Room. I love that. I always wanted to hear my name. <laughs> um, for some reason, every time that I think of Ramp Room, besides the... I, I feel like the words, tell me, tell me, tell me, do is somehow in there. Um, when she would first invite people. But when I think of Ramp Room, what I think of is the... Um, do you remember those cups with long handles so you could walk on these cups and you held the handle and you flopped <laughs> they looked like like tiny little pails or something like that i think i either bought some one time or tried to make my own or i, I don't know I, but i thought those were cool um all right the secret stampers group romper room kukla frana you know i don't remember names from it but i remember romper room and watching it seems like a was it a morning thing or was it when I get home from school? I think it was a morning thing. Saturday morning, maybe. I liked it. Secret Stampers Group. If you want to join, email me. StephanieFlath at gmail.com Oh, yeah, and my sister and I each. I love those. Huh, okay. So, um, so I've chatted enough um, letting people get on. I got on. Can you believe I got on a minute early today? Um, so to make up for last week, I was a couple minutes late, I think. And, um, I just decided to gab a little bit. So, all right. So I'm planning to use this, the Gangs All Mirror stamp set. I think a lot of you chose this as a free item for, for an order of yours. Um, and I have to be honest with you, I mounted this stamp set last night. It's the first that I've used it. Um, but I had to, had to share an idea with this specific stamp set. Um, and I just decided I wanted to do it on a live, um, rather than just, um, doing a picture of it or, or sharing a sample or whatever. I love the sample. And so I'm going to show you. All right. So another thing that I'm using with the stamp set is, a, is one that's called Well Said, this is an amazing stamp set. <clears throat> it is two cases worth. Look at all these words here. There's head and shoulders needs to tell. <laughs> is that did that come from that mo that show? I was thinking. I, I remember that from kindergarten, but maybe it did come from that. It's weird. Every time I put this up, it's like, it. I guess maybe because I'm blacking the sun on my the rays on my face. I don't know. Anyway, this is well said, and it's two cases worth of words. And if you're one, oh, let me tell you. Well said is on page 47. You can see all the words better there. Um, if you like mixed fonts, this is awesome because it coordinates with, um, well, these are all caps, but it coordinates with um, a scripty, words die set too like there's the word friend in there and you and birthday and hmm, i don't know all of them there that's on page 197 i think um those dies um <clears throat> there's another set that i'm going to use but i will show you that later okay so i'm going to put you down to do some stamping and remember when i have you down i can't see your comment so feel free to still comment or qu ask questions or whatever but i will get back to you later um because i just i can't do it while i'm stamping because i can't even see your comments then um so i'm going to put you down and do some stamping and then i'll put you back up okay so i got to do my magic here it's even a magic wand it has a star on it like a like a, uh, like it's magic okay so i have to unbackwards you 
and then I have to put you upside down so you can see my workspace here. Seems like the setting is different today. It's not like maybe it's just because the sun's not out so bright today. Okay, so what I'm doing first, I guess I should put this. Hmm, I want this here. I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did last week and put, rather than have my white down, I'm going to have this down. So I, you can see my, you can see my spot, but I don't need the cushion right now. Okay, so I'm using Memento because I'm going to be using blends and um, I'm going to ink up my meerkat here and I'm going to put one here and one there <laughs> he's so cute all right then I'm gonna use a really technical tool oops I need to close this up for a minute I need to use a really technical tool I got my ruler out and a black marker and I'm just making a line. Okay. Then I'm gonna color him in. I'll let him dry for a quick second. This is um, soft suede and I'm just using the light one and I'm using it, um, I'm not blending, I'm just using the light one. And I always like the brush tip better than the fine tip unless I need a tiny, tiny spot to get into. I didn't color in the lines very well. So I don't know if you've ever been a part of my demonstration before, but well, you know that I don't like coloring very well. Um, I actually happen to be managing to talk while I'm coloring today. That's, that's. A difficult thing sometimes you know I don't like to color I think part of it's just because I always try to be quick and I don't want you guys to have to wait while I'm coloring and stuff like that but also I remember in kindergarten getting a here's my meerkats getting a sad face on my coloring page because I I remember it was this great big tree I had on this big white piece of paper and the the tree top I just colored all my green this way and that way and whatever and I got a sad face because I we didn't go in the same direction the whole time <laughs> so that could be my one of my reasons for not liking to color also except I do like coloring in coloring books okay so this I'm using the stamp set it's called make a difference it's a scripted um, uppercase and lowercase letters and it has even it has all caps of um, printed letters manuscript is that what it's called and then some numbers and a couple things on here handcrafted just for you made with love etc and um, so I have I'm gonna stamp this and then I'll show it to you I had two stamps mounted on this. That didn't go very well. This one doesn't stamp well. I'm gonna use my black marker and make it better and then I'll show it to you. All right, so this totally is not my idea, but look at this, six feet. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> All right, oh, oh, I do want that open, okay. Now this is where my, um, the well said, this one has two cases worth of stamp sets. Oh, I've been telling people who have been signing up with me, tomorrow's the last day to get an extra deal on the ultimate bundle of signing up to be a demonstrator. Um, I've been telling people that this is a good set to use um, for their extra um, stamp set because it's a $45 um, set and you can choose any stamp set for an extra freebie with your kit. 
Okay, so this is the set that I'm using for this part. So this is perfect. So this says, far apart but close at heart. Ah, oh, isn't that special? Okay, and also, oh, I'm gonna put that on later. Just a sec. Um, oh, I thought I didn't have adhesive for a sec. Okay, look at the back of this with my blends. Um, always make sure that you have some sort of um, back, something covering, scrap paper, something underneath it, because they do soak through, the Stampin' Blends do. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on. I don't even have my card base ready yet. Oh, I can put it on here though. Okay, so this is going on. This is Soft Suede. And this is Terracotta Tile. And then this is um, one of the designer paper pieces from the um, ben Birthday Bonanza bundle or designer paper. Um, so I'm putting the the balloons. <laughs> I had to look at them. I couldn't think of the word. Um, I'm putting the balloons down this time. That probably wouldn't be a typical way that I would do things, but this time I want it down. I'm going to cover up my ink for now. And then dimensionals are here somewhere. So I'm never shy with dimensionals. I don't want it to um, be squished down here. So this is big, so I even put, normally I do like corners and middle, unless it's too small or unless it's big. Make sure I got them all off. And then I can put this on here. And then I wanted to add an embellishment, and so this was perfect. So these are, you can't even see them because they're clear. And now I forgot what they're called. I think they're called enamel hearts. Um, so I'm using, this is actually dark Cajun craze because I, I think there's terracotta tile, but I don't know if I don't have it. Thought I wouldn't use it very often or what. But I'm using my Stampin' Blend right on this heart. And I had one done already, so because you do need to let it dry for a little bit. Um, so I colored this heart so it's not clear anymore. And then look, I can put my far apart but close at heart and have a hello heart right there. Oh, and one more thing I can do. This is also in the stamp set. I built the saying, there's two stamps on this block. So I built the saying that I'm gonna stamp inside that says, miss you. Aw, I love this. Okay. So there's my first card. Now I'm gonna make another one. <clears throat> Remember, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you um, share my video and tell me that you did, because I can't always tell that you did, some people's settings are different, um, <clears throat> you're entered for into a drawing for one of these cards. I've been doing just one of them so I can spread the love. So, um, and I will be doing the drawing, I decided, on my next live, which will be Wednesday. So I'll let you know who wins um, these cards. So you need to share before then. Okay, so I'm going to do use the same stamp set and <clears throat> make another one. So this one, I'm using a different meerkat. I have him kind of at the bottom, uh -huh. and I have, I think he's a little lizard. <laughs> they crack me up. There's a lizard and the other little meerkat. All right, and while that's drying a little bit, I'm going to put, um, this says, happy birthday to a stand-up friend. So I'm gonna put that up here. Okay, so here's my stamping area. All right. So I'm again going to just color my, oh, I forgot one thing that I need to add here. 
<laughs> I have a customer who she um I haven't seen her in a long, long time, actually, but, excuse me, she never liked the, like, that these meerkats are just floating, they're not standing on anything, and I forgot to make the ground. So, this is just crumb cake and, um, ink and, um, a blender pen, so I'm just making some ground here that they're, that they're standing on. <laughs> I remembered it, <clears throat> because I'm gonna do it on this one, too. All right, so first, I'm gonna color my meerkat in. Again, this is just light, soft suede. I just felt like it was the color I needed. They're not even this color. I think they're actually really light. They have some dark spots on them, but this is the color I chose, so it's what we're doing. All right, then this lizard is awesome. I have light, old olive here that I'm just going to color the whole thing. I thought about grabbing some red for the tongue, but I didn't. It's just kind of there. And then dark old olive. I'm I am using the fine tip this time. And I'm just coming in. It's got some little spots that I can color in. I'll show this all, you all to you when, once I'm done in a sec. All right, so I'm making my crumb cake here again with the sand. All right, you just run your blender pen off until it's clear. Robin, Robin, if you're still watching, this was what I was talking about with blender pens, using it to color, <clears throat> using it with watercolors, or you can use it with your, with your ink pad top. Okay, so here's my, oops, sorry, kind of out of camera. Here's my little stamped piece, and now I'm gonna put my card together. So I use the same same designer paper, but I'm using the balloons this time because I wanted to go birthday. So this is Coastal Cabana. This is Daffodil Delight. Both of these colors are in this birthday paper. And so I'm just going to this on here. I cut this a little bit differently because of how I'm mounting it on on this card. I left one end. I didn't leave a border because I'm going to butt it right up to the end of the card. I'll show you in a sec. Okay. this here and I managed to make sure that my balloons are upright this time <laughs> last one day last week or a couple weeks ago I don't remember when I almost mounted my balloons upside down I may have even done it and had to pull it off I don't remember so I'm putting dimensionals on here. It just helps it pop. Peel the backing off. And we'll just put this right here. And it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna pick you back up now. So I need to un upside down, or yeah, un upside down you. And backwards you and now I can see <laughs> there I know the meerkats make me giggle too Jana is here and Carrie is here and Debbie is here I can't tell who else is here tell me oh Alexa's on now you shared it with Mike oh cute <laughs> I might have to send him a card um uh Oh, okay, so now I want to show you. They always show up better when, I, when I'm when straight on with you. Okay, so here's my first first card that I did. Um, I just love this. I, I This is totally not my design. I don't remember where I first saw it, but I've seen it a couple times with the whole 
six feet um, distance thing. And then here is my birthday one. I love them. As I mentioned, this is the first time that I've used them. Um, all right, so share my video and you'll be, <laughs> this is Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to confuse you, Carrie. Um, I, I might be trying to do this more often just because of everybody can't get out and come to classes and stuff like that. So, yes, it's Monday. I am going to see you again Wednesday because I will be here again. And I'm going to draw my person from anybody who shared. Um, and you got to make sure that you tell me that you shared too because I can't. There's a couple people that I know for a fact that I don't ever see their when they share it, even though they tell me that they do. Um, their settings are different or something. So you got to make sure that you let me know. So I'll be drawing my winners on Wednesday um, at my next live, my normal live. I always do it Wednesday morning, 1030 Eastern time. So you can meet me then. <laughs> Upside down balloons are called lanterns. <laughs> okay. I But I... I still would have like messed myself up because that's not what my my uh, intent was. <laughs> um, okay, so in case you just got on, a couple things to remind you. One, if you are interested in joining a secret stampers group, um, today is the deadline to do that. I have a demonstrator one um, for like my team and my traveling demos that we get together, um, for on stage and stuff like that. And I have an everybody else one. Uh, if you want to, if you want to do the demonstrator one, because you are a demonstrator, you can, um, uh, message me about that. But I switched it because, um, for my secret stampers, um, I would like you to use Stampin' Up! product, but it doesn't have to be current. And, um, but for demos, um, it definitely needs to be current. So just keep that in mind. So the sign up is today. Email me, stephanieflaff at gmail.com if you want to enter. I need to know your name, address, and birth date um, for this group. Um, you can find information on um, this page, facebook.com slash dazzle by stamping. I also have it on my blog, but it might not be pinned to the top. And I have it on my community group. So you can find that information. The other thing that I'm really excited about is a Zoom virtual crafting night tomorrow night. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I sent, that's not a public event. It's a, a private event and I sent invitations. So if you are interested in that, um, let me know and I'll send you an invitation. I just didn't want the link to the meeting just out there this time. Um, I don't know. I did it one time and I just wasn't sure that I wanted to do that again. So let me know. It's 7 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow. And I'm excited because it's demonstrators and customers and just friends that, um, that I have on Facebook and... Um, and even Shannon West is planning to be there at some point. I don't know if she's starting right away, but um, she um, clicked that she's going, so I'm excited. Um, last thing. Uh, oh, no. Two last things. One is I told you I'm going live again on Wednesday morning, and I will have a brand new product suite um, uh, Wednesday morning. It goes, it's available starting on Wednesday. So... Um, I'll be showing that. And tomorrow is the last day for celebration. Um, so if you want uh, the meerkats and you don't have them, um, you need to place a $50 order by tomorrow and choose them. Um, and what else? I also have, I'm going to make this uh, public and then post it on this page um, today and probably share my close-ups tomorrow. Um, I did a um, a Facebook Live. It wasn't with anybody, but I did it for um, one of my, uh, my clubs couldn't meet. And um, so I did a Facebook Live and then I put it to 
put it on YouTube like I always do. And but I had made it private and whatever, and I sent it to people who um, couldn't make it to club or weren't comfortable coming to club with what was going on before the whole lockdown. But it was just we were getting to that point. And so um, there's some really cute projects. And so I want to make sure that you see them. Um, so I am going to share that to my page and I'll share the close ups tomorrow. So um, so there will be two videos on my page today. So. Okay, I think that's it. Anybody have questions? Liked and shared. Thanks, Kathy. All right, have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you on my Zoom virtual crafting night tomorrow. That would be so much fun. We have 20 people so far around that that are coming. Hi, Pat. I just saw you're on here. Did you just get on? Um, uh, we have about 20 people that I know of that are coming tomorrow. And I'm really excited about that. And I will see you live again Wednesday morning, 1030 Eastern time. Um, sorry if I made your week goofy by starting out with a live on Monday morning. <laughs> That's totally unlike most weeks. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.